to Joyful Sundays. I'm so happy that I um, can sit next to a person I love mm -hmm. <laughs> with um, one, one and a half meters uh, distance, as you can see. Strategic table. <laughs> and um, I'm very uh, thankful that you uh, took the time to have the interview with me today. And so this is my friend Margaret. I know her through a good friend of mine from Zulinka. We met a couple of years ago in uh, Berlin. And before we start with the hardcore questions, I want to, you know, go and have a little bit easy approach to a Sunday mood. So how was your Sunday so far? Ah, oh, my Sunday was so nice. I really like to sleep in on Sundays. So I would kind of like, <laughs> yeah, it's, sort of, it's really nice. So I usually like wake up and then make some tea mm -hmm. and then just sort of like, flop around in the bed drinking my tea and then at some point I get I upgrade to a coffee mm -hmm. flop around a bit more and <laughs> drink my coffee um, and then I always go out for a really nice walk oh perfect yeah it's so nice and we have such beautiful springtime here like all the lilacs are blooming so I had a very beautiful Sunday mm. and then my girl came by and now I'm super happy <laughs> and also she gets later lunch so it's all prepared I am I am living the life today <laughs> But she made me actually um, coffee with adaptogen, so everything Good, is yeah. pure and balanced now. Perfect, perfect. You know, you can take the girl out of California, but you can't take the California out of the girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here in your beautiful flat in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And um, I know you, what you work, of course, and I also know what kind of special project you're working on the side through your other job and in between and da 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 da, da. and she's a uh, Margaret is a um, person like me she's very organized busy. well planned and we like very busy as well but we <laughs> fit in it, it, when we meet it's a very like it's it's flowing because we both like yeah we like to we like to get things done yeah <laughs> That's, that's that's true for sure yeah. so what uh, are you working on at the moment and uh, yeah what is your what is your focus on yeah so I mean like my whole career has been in in tech um, kind of both in startups and in venture capital and most recently in tech media mm -hmm. um, but I I always really wanted to do my own company and it took me a really long time to kind of come up with an idea that I felt like was really worth it mm -hmm. Um, I just think there's too many companies out there in the world that don't really need to exist. There's too many products, too many services. So I spent a long time kind of thinking about this and about a year and a half ago had an idea that I really felt was worth pursuing. Mm -hmm. um, so right now I am focused on that. Um, so I, I recently launched a company, <laughs> my baby. And I'm so proud. Oh <laughs> yeah, my it's my baby. <laughs> um, we are making sustainable household products. Um, mm -hmm. So basically what we're doing is changing the form of traditional products and then packaging them reusably. So doing things like kind of removing the water content, putting them in reusable bottles mm -hmm. um, to kind of help cut down on household waste. Um, so there's 28 million tons of waste produced each year. And a lot of that is generated from single use plastics, yeah. from items that we're yeah. just mm -hmm. using all the time. So mm -hmm. I really wanted to create something, you know, like an alternative that was not only more sustainable, but also beautiful, you know, like looked really nice on the shelf, smelled really good, something that you could mm -hmm. enjoy using every day. Mm -hmm. So in September, we're going to be launching um, a set of three surface cleaners. They are tabletized. So they're just little dry tablets and you'll get a reusable bottle, drop it in, I love it. add the water at home and then you I can get it. cleaning. Yeah. So I do that. And um, it was also really important to me to keep this business as independent as possible. Um, just because that having worked in venture capital, I think a lot of people raise money too soon and then you just sort of have like a lot of cooks in the kitchen with what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So I still work for a tech media company called TechCrunch um, and that's uh, kind of given me the ability to, to really pursue this myself. So for them, I work on uh, two pieces of their business. Um, one is sort of an editorial role on programming global events. Mm -hmm. um, and the other side is on our subscription media site called Extra Crunch. And actually it's, been, it's actually been so helpful because Extra Crunch is, um, I mean, it's a media platform designed to distill down insights for early stage founders. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm really lucky that while I'm founding my own business, I'm also getting to read and consume a lot of content um, from kind of like the best minds in the business. So that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. extra content you have to share with me, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for all you guys watching, extra content is great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's, it's so cool because, you know, the value you get from it is really like, it's sort of a there's a lot of there's a broad range of topics right mm-hmm. so it's anything from like growth marketing to um, writing your first contracts to what kind of form do you want to what legal entity do you want to take for your business and the year's subscription is more affordable than an hour of time you'd get with a consultant or a lawyer or something like that so it's mm-hmm. been really helpful for me just to learn about things like you know whether it's growth marketing which <laughs> I know nothing about um, or just like the legal setup of the business, so it's it's been a really helpful tool for me. Please actually. share share it. I think I need a yeah. I actually, think I need put, a yearly subscription. Yeah, but I can, can also send it in, uh, write it in the caption. Yeah, the we'll details. put we'll put a link in there so you guys can check it out. And there's um all the content on TechCrunch.com is free, but the extra crunch is, is um, a subscription. But I can tell you from being on the inside that it's worth it. <laughs> I think I need an extra crunch if I'm honest. <laughs> Girl, I will <don't> hook <laughs> you up. <laughs> Coming to a very, very uh, nice and important question also for me is how do you motivate yourself? Because I know we are both persons who are obvious over motivated, I would (laughs) say. So how do you have a special way to say like, okay, those are my, uh, those are my, this is my schedule. This is the Margaret date I have uh, for me where I do nothing. And this is the time where I'm reading my book to get a little bit more input or how do you motivate yourself on a daily weekly routine so I think that's such a nice question I've actually thought a lot about how when you you know when you leave school I feel like one of the hardest things you learn in your 20s is kind of how to design your life yeah and it's crazy because no one teaches you this no one teaches and you have to learn that of like how much sleep do I really need how many times do I need to exercise like how do I need to eat how to do these things so I feel like I learned a lot of it through um, trial and error. Yeah. I my perspective on motivation actually is is that motivation kind of comes and goes. Mm-hmm. So I'm more about determination. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm very determined. I'm very clear in my mind about you know what I want to do with my life, the mm-hmm. impact that I want to have. Um, also, just like personally, what kind of life I want to lead. So that helps guide a lot of my decision making. Mm-hmm. But there are certain things that I do every day, every week. Um, so for example. You know this already about me. I'm huge on sleep. Sleep. Ah, I'm so she m- is. I am. Oh my god. Yeah. No, I am. Don't get I am. me started. <laughs> if someone has a bad day, I'm like, just go, just go to bed. <laughs> no, my dad always said this when I was a kid growing up. Like, if you had a bad day, he would tell you to just cut your losses and go to bed. And I, I really do live by this. So, I usually try to go to bed every night at 11 o'clock. I'm not gonna lie. In quarantine. I've been going to bed a lot later and sleeping in a bit later. Mm -hmm. Um, But I like to read every night before bed. And I also read first thing in the morning. So I just love to read. So I usually, I need like a solid hour before I actually fall asleep to read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Which is actually great because shouldn't be in front of the screen an hour before bedtime. But um, so I really like that. And then in the morning, I like to start my day reading as well. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that definitely grounds me and just keeps me feeling good and moving forward is exercise. Mm -hmm. Um, And it actually took me a really long time to get in a good exercise routine Mm -hmm. because I was always an athlete. In high school, I played college tennis. And when I left, I just, like I said, it's no one teaches you how to have that structure. Mm -hmm. So I think I definitely, for a few years, would work out just a few times a week and it didn't feel good. So Mm -hmm. now I'm very... Determined. I'm very, yeah, very, very determined and motivated to do it. So I try to work out um, pretty much every day, actually. But wow. it, it varies. Yeah. It's not like I go to the gym every day, but mm-hmm. I do something physical every day, and that That's that good. keeps me feeling like a, a live functioning person. Also, the only other thing I do that I think is worth mentioning is every morning I make my bed. Yeah. Every morning I make it. I also need to. If not, I can't work. And every night I clean my kitchen before I go to sleep. Uh, I skipped this part. (laughs) This, no motivation, no determination. I do it the next day. It's also Mm. so on brand that I'm doing a cleaning product company because I'm telling you, I really do believe that, for me at least, (laughs) 
having a clean space just really gives me yeah. a clear mind. Yeah. So when I wake up in the morning and I come in here to make my coffee and my kitchen is clean, it just gives me a feeling of like, yeah. space just like calm like I'm ready to get into the week yeah. and bef like when I wake up in the morning and you make your bed you come home at night you get into a fresh bed it just you just feel accomplished I think mm -hmm. so I, I like I like the little I like the little victories <laughs> so if you do sports what are you doing I mean I you know you take a walk which is also physical you sometimes go out for a run if it's like minus 13 degrees in New York and you hate me for the next year or you do I squats. actually think we need to tell this story. We need to tell the story. Okay. okay. You can do. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so Joyce and I had this amazing time together in New York like what? A year ago? Was yeah. that a year ago? A year ago. Oh, this time is like flying. another lifetime. Yeah. So she asked me, "Do you <laughs> do you want to go for a run in the morning?" And I'm thinking Yes, I'd love to. I'm picturing us like real cute, just heading over to Central Park, like taking a little jog, getting a coffee, coming home. She's like, yeah, I signed us up for a 5K run out of the Adidas run base. In, where was it? In, um, it was like Third Avenue, some, <laughs> somewhere downtown at Saturday, 8 a.m. Oh, and I <laughs> really like, I do not like distance running we should cut to that picture of us because so yeah. we basically we get down there it's so cold i it's am, minus I am an icicle and everybody's all like rah rah like let's run having done college sports like that kind of motivation doesn't work on me anymore <laughs> people are like you can do it i'm like i know but i don't want to <laughs> so poor joyce has like me dragging my ass across this bridge like Williamsburg Bridge. Williamsburg Bridge. It was so cold. The wind. Oh my God, my my ears were like falling from my body. I saw them on the bridge. It was so cold. We have this picture of us, and Joyce looks so nice, and there's me, and I'm just like, so like so miserable. But of course, of course, when we got back, like I felt great. But we have we totally have a joke about this. Like, so one thing I don't do sports wise. I do not, I cannot get down with like 5K, 10K marathon. My sister ran an Ironman, you do all these things. I think I think these people are nuts, but um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so for sports, like it really does, it really does depend on where I am. Mm -hmm. So in California, I love to go out and play tennis. Um, I actually have a this dance class that I take and I will really? take it every day. Oh my God, which one is it? So it's for amateur dancers like myself, <laughs> um, but it's this, it's this women run studio called hip line and it's women only. And they basically do like all sorts of different kinds of dancing, like a lot of hip hop, but also, um, it's like influenced by different cultures and it's a diverse women of color owned space, which is really cool. Okay. And it just has the, the best vibe. Like every time I'm there, I go to class there every single day and you're working so hard but you're so joyful mm -hmm. that you just don't even think about mm -hmm. it and one thing I really love um, is it's also a lot about women of all ages all backgrounds expressing their sen their sensuality through yeah. dance not yeah. because somebody else is watching mm -hmm. but because they want to yeah. you know so I am the happiest when I can do that I, like that. I know but in Berlin um, I do really like to go to spin class I hate I hate it. I, I hate it. I did it once and I thought it's 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 terrible to move but not to like move physical like you know and I said in the, I love riding the bike. I always I even rode my bike here but to ride the bike sit in a in a very dark room with loud techno music and I was like I love it. I'm like I'm in I'm in I'm in the club but I'm riding a bike. I love it. <laughs> So you can see that Joyce and I do not work out together that no, frequently. Not at all. Not at all. Not at yeah, all. which is a shame because we are both very sporty. But um, what I've been doing, um, actually, that I've been loving a lot recently is during the quarantine, like my my little brother also lives in Berlin, mm -hmm. and so we meet up every other day, and we at a socially safe distance, like we we elbow bump high, and then we've been going running every other day. Yeah. Yeah, and we've been working up like the first the first couple of times like getting myself to do a mile or so. <laughs> no, 
not pretty. But yeah, but so we go like through Temple Hop, through the parks. It's been really nice. I've been loving that. Mm. Because we just had the theme of dancing uh, in, in one of your answers. Is there a song you really freak out on the dance floor? Or is there a song you would play in the morning and you always feel like immediately good and happy and uh, with, with a good vibe? Yeah, for sure. Which one is it? <laughs> I'm on... I'm I'm a, such an '80s kid. Yeah. Okay. But Whitney Houston, anything Whitney, I could get down to. But I want to dance with somebody. Yeah. Anytime that comes on the dance floor, you will find me just like. <laughs> and then I want to dance. Yeah, you can do you can do the singing. You can do the singing. <laughs> One of our girlfriends, it was at Selinka's birthday party. We went to that really weird club, Kumpones 3000. Do you remember that? Uh, I think I, at that t a time, I was probably had one wine into it and I probably was drunk. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was this like total hole in the wall bar. And all of our friends, we just took it over and they played that. And it was me and Annalie in the middle of the floor, like going for it. So that's yeah. a good one okay. yeah okay yeah. i also will put it in the caption so tomorrow morning before i do my run i'm on oh i want to dance with somebody i want to feel the heat with somebody <laughs> yeah i want to dance with somebody with somebody who loves me you cannot hear that song and not be happy it's true okay 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 Okay, I will. I will check it out tomorrow, and I will challenge you with this and uh, send you a funny video as or FaceTime as, you maybe. Yeah, as long as you're the one doing the singing, we're fine. <laughs> I actually, <coughs> I actually, I, I was not, I was not uh, ready to sing this yet. But oh, anyway. oh, do the do the fans of Joyful Sundays not know that this girl has a beautiful <laughs> voice? Is a trained jazz singer. Yeah. You, no I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to share a microphone. No, everyone knows. Thank you. <laughs> Coming to my favorite and my last question also for for today because lunch is waiting for us. Yeah. Plus, we are also going to Tempelhofer Feld and having a little bike ride, yeah. l seeing a little bit Berlin sky um, um, in front of us. I have a question which is also interesting, and I'm also very curious your answer will be the question is what brings you joy except for me of course because <laughs> yeah, i always I bring like, you very much joy because my name is joyce <laughs> yeah but it's true anyway. it's true um well you do bring me a lot of joy that's true um that's i think that's such a nice question mm -hmm. you know and actually i really have been practicing pretty much every day just being like deeply grateful for life you know mm -hmm. so I could answer it in like big and small ways like what brings me joy I mean I love to do a lot of things I love to cook I love to exercise I love to be with friends I love to be with family mm -hmm. um, but I've just been having this really deep feeling pretty much every morning of just like gratitude to be alive and I mm -hmm. think a lot of that is coming from really loving what I'm doing professionally mm -hmm doing my own business and creating this product is the first time I think I've ever felt so creatively expressive mm -hmm. and seeing people like like the products and use them and have them in their homes it's like the most deeply joyful amazing feeling mm -hmm. I think I think true joy mm -hmm. um, you feel the most when you're like deeply expressing yourself And also when you've allowed yourself to be deeply vulnerable, mm -hmm. you know, and creating something and putting it out in the world. It's really vulnerable experience. And you get a, re you get a response. Response from people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think what really brings me joy is, is, is uh, people, I guess. Like doing, like creatively exchanging with people in that way. Yeah. I'm honestly... I and chocolate. <laughs> chocolate for me as well. No. But I'm um, honestly, I think you're... Uh, business idea and the strategy you have behind your business will be so successful oh, I truly believe um, in your work and I believe thank in you. your as a very determined person <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I know this will be uh, that the launch in September will be um, 
boom. Thank you. I, I couldn't express it other than like bam. I think this is a this will be a game changer also because it's so eco friendly as well and so and it looks so beautiful and also Margaret has the best taste in smell smelling. Yeah, you know, all the time, so it will also smell like crazy good. And I know this will be, uh, this will brighten up the days of many people who will use it in their daily routine. And I'm very proud and I'm very much looking forward to also test it myself because I didn't get I know, test so yet, yet, just say. I know, I know, I have it. And actually, you know what we should do for all the followers of Joyful Sunday? Because I love that you're doing this and I think it's. Like so nice to like get to know the different people that you interview. I, I'm I'm a big fan. I'm a subscriber to Joyful Sunday. But um for anyone who is watching, if you want to test out one of our prototypes, please after, comment. after I give yeah. Joyce one, put it in the comments. Yeah. Um and we do have a limited number, so first come, first serve, but drop it in the comments, let us know, and we'll get in touch with you and we'll send yeah. out a test kit. And you can let us know what you think, what you like, what you don't. Yeah. Um, I really want to make products that like you actually want to use in your home. Um, so your feedback is, is welcome and important. And if anyone also just wants to talk cleaning, just write it in the comments. Yes. I'll get in yes. touch. And I'll also, what I think it's very important, I will put every details I have and all the infos I have from Margaret in the video um, info and also when I post it on Instagram I write it in the caption to that you have all the context that you can also um, engage with Margaret write with her and that also we can share our communities and yeah, um, you know <laughs> use the network we actually built up the last years here in Berlin and also in the in the States of course totally yeah I love it love it Thank you so much for watching. Aww. Thank you so much, Margaret, for your time. Thanks for having me. For this yeah. coffee. I'm so happy that like those Skype calls are over. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. It's so nice to just, you know, look someone in, in the, the eye and yeah. feel their energy and aura. And yeah, um, yeah. I didn't saw you since such a long time, also because of um, the quarantine and the corona um, yeah. situation at the moment so i'm very grateful that i can even with distance not hug you but i yeah, have you, you can you know like <laughs> yeah spiritually i would say yeah you know? yeah and i think i love that you're doing this because i think also with this quarantine it's nice to find ways to kind of practice joy in your life you know mm -hmm. especially when you don't have the things you're used to so thanks so much for having me thank you <laughs> i wish you a wonderful sunday with me by the way <laughs> <laughs> and we say Goodbye. Bye. Ciao.